It really does. In fact, standing here, trucks are consistently traveling along the interstate behind me. And the president and CEO of the South Carolina Trucking Association says right now there is a major demand for trucking services. Across the Palmetto State, there is a growing need on the road. It's a pride-filling job. Uh, we just need to find uh, young people and another generation to get behind the wheel. The South Carolina Trucking Association says it needs more truck drivers to transport goods. We could see it coming prior to the pandemic and now it's been exacerbated. The president and CEO of the association, Rick Todd, says there are several contributing factors to the driver shortage, including retirement and people changing careers. We aren't filling the seats as quickly as people are leaving them. He says it's contributing to global supply chain issues, but adds it takes multiple moving parts working together. Every other mode of transportation has a role in uh, making trucking efficient, so they have to make us um, be able to load and unload quickly and uh, to keep the drivers productive and the companies profitable uh, so that we can continue to interest people and keep the fleets healthy and rolling. Meanwhile, on the water, the South Carolina Ports Authority says it's been seeing record volumes since March. Our volume is up about 16 to 20 percent import wise as a country as compared to 2019 before the pandemic. President and CEO Jim Newsom addressed the global supply chain during his annual state of the port. He says volume is greater than supply chain capacity. But here in South Carolina, he says in part, quote, SC Ports has the berth availability, cargo capacity, and fluidity to handle the record cargo volumes and unprecedented amount of retail imports flowing into the port of Charleston. Back on the roads, Todd says they are working to recruit younger drivers, increase technical college training for CDL drivers, and be competitive in pay to address the truck driver shortage. Earlier today, we also had an opportunity to talk to Senator Lindsey Graham about the supply chain issues. He says there are several reasons behind it, including COVID-19, but he says the current administration needs to do more and make it easier to hire. In Greenville, Jennifer Reddy, WYFF News 4.